Thank you. Well, good morning to everybody. I'm very happy to be here um, contributing with a very small part about the evolution or revolution in the media landscape. And I'm going to be talking more about uh, in-stadium experience and, and um, in-stadium um, live and replay videos. So uh, we talked this morning a lot about uh, all these media being developed so that you can see actually a lot of sports wherever you are, uh, streaming, of course, still TV, uh, social media and so on. And a very um, a recent uh, study uh, done by Cisco said, well, actually, 57% of the fans, they prefer to stay at home or somewhere else to, to watch their favorite team or their favorite game. So it's a very good, um, it's a very good uh, news that you, we have all these media available. But the risk is this. The risk is to have empty stadiums. And this is not good for the clubs because, of course, uh, it's not the way to generate revenues inside the stadium. It's not good for federations or leagues organizing all these championships. And it's not even good for broadcasters because, you know, broadcasters, they hate to film an empty stadium. So what do we need to do? Of course, we need to develop everything, but how do we bring back uh, fans also into the stadiums? First, and we talked about it this morning, and I think other people will talk about that later as well. We have to revolutionize the way you experience the game in the stadium. It's not anymore just coming to view the match. It's also an entertainment, an entertainment opportunity, uh, being able to arrive earlier, maybe have lunch in the stadium, order your food and drink uh, at your seat and not missing the goal like Lionel was, was saying earlier this morning, uh, finding back the way uh, out to the stadium after when everybody's leaving the park, the parking sl slot and so on. So it's kind of the smart stadium experience where you live the game in another way. This is for fun and actually what is important is also professionals. We've seen uh, we have had a lot of uh, uh, news about that um, in the current uh, months and years. You've seen on the World Cup, the, the Football World Cup, we introduced video referees. Of course, fans want uh, new content, but the professionals also need new medias. We coaches, we talked about data with uh, Christina this morning, um, video referees on the World Cup, also um, head injury and concussion protocol, which are more and more uh, impacting players' uh, health uh, in different sports. So we need to bring these new media to the people. So how do we do that? Uh, we are, of course, only one example, but uh, this is what Vogel Sport is doing. We bring a new way of, experience of experiencing the game or the match in the stadiums or in the sports arena, bringing uh, video live and replays, instant video lives and replays to spectators. So let's say here we are in a, in a sport venue. You watch, of course, the game with your eyes, but then you have kind of a second screen in your hands and you can have um, access to the different, to the feeds from the cameras filming the match. So if you are sitting on one side of the stadium, you can also connect to the camera being on the other side of the, of the pitch and seeing the, the, the action from this angle of view. You can have replay, so you can just come backwards whenever you want. And that's something Lionel could uh, experience with his kids if he would have had Vogel Sport. You miss the goal, you instantly can come backwards and you can review it. You can review it in normal speed, but also in slow motion. You can zoom, you can pause, and actually you can just become actor of what you're watching. So it's another way of, consum of consuming sports while still uh, benefiting from the atmosphere and the emotions that are uh, in the stadium because you're close to your team. Just to give you an example, this is something we that we film uh, on the last match of France before going to the World Cup. It was in June in uh, in the Nice Stadium. It was against Italy. Sorry, against <laughs> again Italian. What you're going to see here on the video, this is the app uh, that has been that is used by uh, uh, OGC Nice and which is integrated into the app of the stadium. So this is the Vogel Sport Tech. And you're going to see here on the pitch, the, the French uh, team just uh, put a goal. So they are just congratulating themselves and they're going back to the middle of the, of the, the field to uh, start playing again. And in the tablets, you're going to see what we're going to do. We're going to come backwards to review the goal and review it in slow motion that's so, so that we can enjoy it a second time. <laughs> a 
And there we put it slow motion, so can you can see the uh, the goal uh, more into details. So you see, it's like a spectator's uh, situation. You are in the grandstand, and you have kind of your own TV, and you become your own uh, your own uh, producers uh, with the images you want to watch. What is important? Somebody said this morning the problem is very often connectivity in the in the in the stadium. 4G gets saturated. A lot of stadiums don't get Wi-Fi, and as a user, we are very. Uh, we want smoothness, we don't want to have downloading time, we want to review this goal directly. So uh, what we have developed is a disruptive technology which is independent on the number of people using it, which makes that it's really smooth. Whatever we have 10,000 users or 10 users, you have the instant replay and, uh, and you can really enjoy it directly. Uh, what are the results? Because of course, uh, people or clubs or, or federations or event organizers investing in such a technology want a quick ROI. What we see, and talking about consumers and supporters' data, live and replays is, with food and drink, two services that are the most used in the club applications. And statistics we have is that between 30 and 80% of the people using the app in the stadium use it for live and replay. So this is really a value-added service uh, which makes that the people download the club app, use it, and that the club then gather data about who their um, consumers are and, uh, and, and how to generate revenue from these consumers. This is for the fans, just some illustrations about what we do for the professionals. Uh, we are working with the uh, National Rugby League and, and Rugby Federation, and we cover basically all the rugby matches from Top 14 and Pro D2 in France. In France, um, we are used by the doctors. You see here in two configurations. Either the doctors are on the pitch, they can follow uh, the players, and when there is a shock, they can review it from different angles, and they can decide whether there is a risk of concussion and whether they have to launch a, a concussion protocol. Then they go to the medical room in the stadium, like on the left, and there they have also a big touch screen with the images, and they can review the image with the player and do the protocol and decide whether the player want, uh, can go back to the, to, the, um, to the game or has to stop for the game. And this is a very important uh, tool because today uh, players are more and more performant, but also the shocks are more and more um, powerful, and then there are a lot of injuries. What we bring for this professional is two things. Mobility, with the tablet, they can go along the pitch, they can move, they don't have to be uh, standing in front of a screen. And autonomy, because they can use it themselves without having uh, an operator next to them. We have focused on football here, but of course we, we are in a lot of sports. Uh, so these are the clubs we are working with in terms of fan uh, solution. But we have covered more than 700 events in 20 different sports, in stadium, in arenas, and outdoor events also, like golf or car racing. And um, of course the objective is to accelerate even more development. And I'm very happy uh, to, to, to be able to announce today's official from this morning. We are now preparing an IPO uh, after this uh, fundraising um, to even more develop it and, and accelerate worldwide the development. Thank you. We have also in the business zone, we have a little demo system running. So if you want to see it running during the breaks, we will be there to welcome you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Baba.